Hey guys, it's Carrie, the Invisible Goddess, coming to you from my basement today. Uh, yeah, because I want to have a little talk with you about holding on to stuff when it's past when you should let go. Um, it's okay to try new things. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Um, I am specifically talking about grid walls right now. Um, could be talking about life in general too, <laughs> but I'm, I'm specifically talking about my grid walls. I tried out, um, or I have tried out, well, no, I'm not hoarding toilet paper. Um, I have tried out lots of different setups for my craft booths and tables. And that, that's, that's part of the problem is I need to be, I don't do just booth. I don't like have just a 10 by 10 setup. Um, I'll do a six foot table, I'll do an eight foot table. It really depends on the venue, um, you know, what, what I'm doing. So I had purchased 10, ooh, stops making noise. I had purchased 10 two by six grid walls. Um, and they, they're one, I mean, grid walls are great, <laughs> uh, but I have found that I prefer to do a table setup rather than a grid wall setup. So I posted in my community association, because I really don't know how to use Facebook Marketplace and I don't want, like, I don't want to deal with complete strangers, at least with my community association, it is like people in my neighborhood. <laughs> You know, so I had posted in my neighborhood that, hey, I have these grid walls. Does anybody want them before I put, have to figure out how to post on Facebook Marketplace? And, sorry, myself in the light. Um, and I posted that a couple weeks ago, and, you know, I, I, I made a joke, like, don't make fun of my basement unless you have a, a mason that you can recommend to me like because <laughs> i need i need to do the walls um so anyway someone yesterday in my neighborhood was like hell yeah i want your grid walls because <laughs> i had posted i have 10 of them you can take one you can take all 10. uh i'm charging ten dollars a grid for them. That's what I paid for them. Like, I'm not making money off of this. I'm just getting them out of my basement. So that's, that's something to think about. D like, don't hold on to stuff that isn't serving you well. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about while, while I was, or while she was here, she's another, uh, artsy lady. She actually has a degree from Maryland Institute College of Art, which we call MICA here. And I'm jealous because I wanted to go to MICA when I graduated high school and I didn't. Um, I do have like my first degree is in applied art. So like I wanted an art degree. I got one. I just, you know, MICA is a prestigious school. <laughs> um, so anyway, while she was here, I just casually said, hey, do you need a photo booth set up too? Um, because uh, you'll, you'll see it. I bought one off Amazon and it's one of the collapsible ones and I cannot figure out how to collapse it and I don't have the room to store it so large and I missed the time frame to send it back. Partially because how am I supposed to get it in the car if I can't collapse it? Anyway, you'll, you'll see the, the one that I am keeping um, next to it, but I said I would, you know, look up the price on it and let her know um, what I would want for it. And really, I just want it out at this point. That's the other thing. Don't get don't get caught up on what you've already spent. There's something called a sunk cost. So these are all like everything you've already purchased. That's a sunk cost. And I'll I'll put a little uh, thing here.
that defines actually what it is, but like you've already spent the money. If it is costing you more, whether that, oh, why are you crying? If it's costing you more to keep it, whether that be like, are you renting space to keep it? Um, is it costing you emotionally? Like our stuff is heavy. Like it weighs on us emotionally. So why are you crying? Um, so are you keeping things that are too heavy that you should get rid of? And once you get rid of them, are you going to feel better? Like, yeah, make the decision to get rid of it and then be good with it. Um, you, you've already spent the money. Like you don't have to, to stay keeping with your stuff if it's not serving you at this point. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm not planning on doing any shows anytime soon, inside, outside, none of that. Like, uh, I'm not doing it. I literally took my father home from the hospital today. Um, I'm not, I'm not trying to get the Rona. So um, maybe the year after, maybe in 2022, I might, but I still have my tables. Like, I'm, I'm keeping some of my stuff because it serves me, even though like right now it's not but like I, I i know that these uh these grid walls they're just taking up space i'm never going to use them because i don't want to have to uh, go back and forth and borrow a vehicle they don't fit in my car um so i know that it's time for them to go so i'm going to show you so these are the grid walls that i have i had 10. um my neighbor took two these right here. This is the one that I'm keeping. It is on rollers. Like it, it's on rollers and it fits in my car because it, it is not six feet tall. Uh, and then here, here are the photo booths that I'm talking about that I can store this one. I don't have to break it down, especially if I get rid of rid of more stuff but this large one <laughs> I don't have room for it uh, I mean that's why I bought a collapsible one but I don't know how to collapse the stupid thing so it's not doing me any good I don't need to to begin with um, and I thought maybe I would keep it and like put my dress form inside it and do larger things but I'm not going to so it's time to get rid of it all right and then with some other stuff gone, maybe I'll tidy up. It's actually, basement's actually not all that bad. I just brought some stuff in from the garage recently. So, um, the shed, I don't have a garage. All right. So, yeah. Peace out, homies.